Okay, now let's catch two more for a catch and cook video. Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. I am Clayton Schick. This is the outdoors. Like the title says, catch and cook walleye today. Uh, I just finished filming a video, I'm not gonna lie. And now the goal is to catch two more quick fish to top my live all off here with my limit of four walleye to do a catch and cook. I'm not gonna do a catch clean cook. I'm gonna do a video in the future with how to clean a walleye or how I clean a walleye. But for right now, we're gonna catch two quick walleyes and then we're gonna get to the fire and we're gonna cook us up some walleyes. If you're curious about the fishing technique I'm using right now to catch these two walleyes for this video, you can go to the video that will be in the uh, description below. There will be a link. You can, you can go there and you can kind of see everything I've done beforehand for the technique, how to catch, how I'm catching these walleye today. But we're gonna put two quick walleye in the boat, hopefully put two quick walleye in the boat, and then, uh, yeah, and then go home and cook thus walleye. Oh, nice, hopefully, oof, oof. I don't know if this is a fish I can cook. This fish, I'm thinking maybe a pike, the way it's swimming out to the deep water. Oh, it could just be a nice walleye. Could just be a nice walleye too. That thing was like eight shallow and swim really deep. It might be actually one for the live wall. I think we have a contender. I think we have a contender. You, sir, are going to be more popular than you know. You are going to be in a video, unfortunately, you just ate your last meal. I'm sorry, my friend, but you are gonna taste good. Make sure it's a legal fish first, which I'm sure it is. Yeah, we're good. It's 17-ish. So we have our first contender or contestant for today's catch and cook. Oh, nice. Come on, be, be the second contestant. Come on down. You are the winner on today's Catch and Cook with Clayton. And you are gonna be the contestant that is go A little bit risky, but we got her done. We got her done. Are you gonna bite me if I stick my finger down there? Barbless hook, I can just push my, push it back, push the hook down. But sometimes they'll bite down on you when you do that though. Be really careful. While I do have teeth, believe it or not, Okay, let's get this way here. Let's do a fancy transition. Let's get to the frying pan. <laughs> well, that was easy. I just jumped from the boat to my fire pit. Nothing like that. Today's agenda, something a little bit different. Orange crush walleye. Beer batter is super popular. A water batter is super popular. I know a lot of people use ginger ale. Orange Crush, believe it or not, works amazing. I've only done it with flour before, but we're gonna try it with Catch and Cook. First though, we are going to actually, I should put my head camera on here, is make some homemade French fries and taste test with the three new seasonings they have. This one is white out. It is a garlic seasoning. And then we have smoked salt, which is, uh, exactly what it sounds like. I taste it a little bit. It's like a smoky salt, like literally. It's like, it's got a smoke smell to it. I can't even explain it, it's crazy. And then the Chipotle seasoning, which I think is gonna be my favorite, I'm guessing, but we're gonna taste test the French fry. So what I'll do is get my oil going here. Like I said, here, let's do this right now. Bam! Activate head camera. We'll get my oil going right now in the fire get it hot, get the fries cooking, and whip up the orange crush batter. And I'll explain to you how I do that and the consistency of it and the cooking process of it and everything like that. So let's start cooking. If you're gonna cook fries and fish, always cook your fries first. If your fish is in a batter, it'll usually leave your oil a little bit messy. French fries, don't make that oil messy at all unless you start putting seasonings before. You can like, you can pre-season your French fries. You can get really crazy and like put flour or probably the catch and cook stuff, all that stuff and make like crazy fries, carny fries we call them. And it'll make your oil a little bit dirty then. But if you just do, uh, these are just 
Baker's potatoes cut into French fry size. If you do just like this with no seasonings at all, it won't make your oil all dirty. So that's what we're gonna do. Oil's heating up. French fries will be going in soon. As soon as the French fries go in, I will make my batter. I feel all official with those like three bowls, taste test. Oh yeah. Amazing. Oh yes. French fries going in. Let's put them all in there. Get them in there. Get her done. I'm stirring my fries just to start with, but don't mess around with your French fries too much. Just let them cook. The more you put their tongs in there, you're gonna destroy them. Okay, let's do it. So for this recipe, simple. Catch and cook, an orange crush. We're gonna put some catch and cook in here first and put the orange crush in. Don't use too much at once because you need to get a good consistency for the batter and I'll explain all about that here right away. But don't just dump in that whole thing in that because you're gonna end up with a disaster. Okay, we're gonna use about quarter of this bag right now, quarter to a half. And then the orange crush, we're gonna put about a half of it in here too. If you ever use all of your liquid that you have, you can always add some water in. Probably taking the fizz out sooner would have been a good idea too, but it's not gonna hurt anything. I already tell I got a little bit too much orange crush and not enough batter, but that's okay. We can easily add more. So the consistency you wanna get with like a beer batter or any type of wet batter, you wanna to get to a consistency where it's on your spoon and it falls off, but it still coats it. If that makes sense. You don't want it like, this is too runny, but you don't want it where you go like this and it just all gloops and stays on there. So what we're gonna do is break up all those clumps real good. Real, real good. Hot tip, this is a killer way to make homemade onion rings, like the best. Okay, so we're breaking up all of those clumps there. Consistency is a little too thin, so easy fix. Add some more batter and stir it in. Less is always more to start with. I think I added too much now. Yeah, it didn't need much more. I should have known better than that. Like. I knew that there was some, it was getting close, but actually this is a good example to show you what too thick is now. Stir it up good. Stir it up real good. See now this is too thick. That's not bad, it's close. It's really close. Really close actually. A little bit too thick yet though. If it's too thick, you're gonna end up with just too much batter on your fish. So we're gonna put in a little bit more here. I hope this head camera is capturing all of this. It should be. I'm going to feel like a donkey if it's not. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this consistency. I can tell already. See? Not bad. Not bad. Little. We can maybe use a little more seasoning now. Not much though. Just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Tiny, tiny. We're really close to having a perfect consistency there. Like I said, too thick of a batter, you'll end up with just this big batter mess and you'll be eating more batter than fish. It's not good. This is looking good. I like that, I like that. It's still, it's running off, but it's still coating the spoon quite nice. Just in case the head camera's not picking all this up, it's all about consistency. You want something that still sticks on the spoon but still runs off but not like crazy amount it's just like a nice even flow it's not super fast you can see the spoon still coated too thick a batter you'll end up with fish that's just like all batter greasy gross too thin it won't stick to the fish so i like this consistency i do okay how are our fries doing fries are looking good give them just a little stir here Make sure they're not sticking together. I've got, they're starting to crisp up or get brown on the outside here. I got a really hot fire. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it off for a second just to control our heat a little bit. Controlling your heat is one of the hardest things to do, I'd say, but once you get used to it, it's easy. 
You don't want too hot. You don't want too cold, especially for a wet batter, which we're doing now. You don't want it too hot or it'll crisp hard on the outside and the inside will be raw. To um, where it's not hot enough, you'll end up with just a soggy mess and it won't cook fast enough. Getting the perfect heat. You could probably get fancy and use like thermometers and temperature sensors and all that stuff, but we're in the wilderness, baby. Ignore the house. Okay, those fries are still cooking. We're going to add some fish here into our batter. We're gonna go with the thicker pieces to start with, just so we can cook them all the same. Now, one thing you wanna make sure you do is don't put too much in the pan with a wet batter either. Too much is also bad. This is gonna be good, I can tell. Okay, putting the fries back on here just to finish them up, but they're pretty much done. Oh, good timing. Just in time to eat. Cindy's here to help me taste test just a little bit. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna put a little bit in each bowl. You cut them different. I don't cut fries as good as you. No. I cut fries too thick. Ask Cam. But, okay, we got some fries in each bowl for the taste test. And then we're gonna save all of these extra fries for the best one. We're gonna, we're gonna season all of them separately. This one is, this is a whiteout garlic seasoning. This is chipotle seasoning. And this is smoked salt. Smell this, it's like smells smoky. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's, it, I can't believe how it like can smell so smoky. Grab a garlic fry. That's good. I like it. That's good. It's really good. That will be definitely being used on french fries. You can use these seasonings obviously more than on french fries. I'm gonna use them for a bunch of stuff at some point, but I thought it was just a good way to just use them for the first time. Now which ones? Chipotle? Mmm. Mm. It's a little burny for you, it's isn't burny. it? Burny. Sorry, it is. It has, has a little bit, Cindy doesn't like spicy food. It's my own fault. I took one that had lots of salt. She has, uh, a very sensitive palate, you should say. Spicy food is bad for, yes, you can drink that because I don't need any more. But honestly, I think it's amazing. That's my favorite so far. Okay, like smoke salt. This smells so smoky, I can't even explain it. It's crazy. Ooh. I'm still tasting that one. We, need, we needed a palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is more like your original salt on fries. Oh, she's going back for more. Good. Which one's your favorite? Mm, I kind of like that one. This is good. This this is really good. I, I'd eat either one. I would. Besides the middle one. Mm -hmm. If you have a for sensitive... For anybody who likes spicy food, they will like that. I agreed. Right? Amazing. Mmm. This your orange? This is the orange crush stuff, yeah. You'll have to wait for the video to see how it's made. Oil back on. We're gonna heat it up again and cook some fish. Okay, our oil is getting hot enough. Let's start cooking. Like I said, don't put too many in there. You don't want to try to keep them away from each other. Don't let them touch each other because it'll all stick together. Then once that oil gets too hot, pull that pan off as well. Cindy's going to sit there and enjoy her French fries and her Pepsi. She went with, what'd you go with? Both of them. You combined both of them. She said both of them. She put some garlic and some salt in there and I think you might have a winner. I tasted it. It was pretty good. Okay, we don't want to get that too hot, so we're going to pull it out for a bit. Because you don't have many pieces of fish in there, it'll get hot real quick. You could you could put a couple more in here for sure. I, I went a little light. Like, make use of your whole pan at the same time. Give yourself some room. Let's flip it over here. See how it'll brown quicker on the one side. Definitely got a little bit hot right now, but this is going to be good. Okay, these are finishing up here. That, the oil was hot enough, I didn't even have to put it back on the fire to finish it. Once these cool off, 
I'll break a piece and you can see how the batter should have a perfect consistency around the fish. This is like your, your typical fish and chips. My oil, got, my oil got a little bit too hot, but also the batter is probably a little bit darker than what I'm used to too. I've noticed the catch and cook stuff does cook up a little bit darker. It's not burnt, it just looks a little bit darker. Okay, second batch of fish is going on here and I will break apart one of these right away to show you the consistency. Yeah, this one I didn't get the oil as hot and it's a little bit lighter color. This holds heat for a long, long time. So be careful if you were gonna bite into it right now. We'll break it apart. Oh, perfect. Look at how thin the batter is. You don't want too thick a batter with something like this. Too thick a batter, you'll just, yeah, you'll eat all batter. Flaked apart perfectly. I would take a bite, but it's so hot. I gotta take a bite anyway. Mmm. Yeah. That's a winner. Hot, hot, but good. That's good, yeah. If you liked, if you ate fish, you'd like it. Finish it up here. This one's not getting quite as dark because I had the oil a little bit lower temperature. You don't, I can't um, express this enough. You can't get it too hot. This was, this was close. This was like really, really close. To burning it it's just on the line it's still good but it's close this batch though will be perfect see this batch is a little bit lighter but not much it just this batter gets dark it's a darker batter for sure well there you have it orange crush walleye basically your typical fish and chips style batter it's good I'm not gonna lie i'm going to enjoy a couple pieces of this some french fries spend some time with the girlfriend and call her a night. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside. Thanks, thank you. Cindy, Cindy said it for everybody, get outside.